Tundra, what are you thinking? <laughs> this ball is a waste of time, like all Orlesian foolishness. Let's find the Venatori collaborator and get out of here. Have you witnessed anything noteworthy? Nothing yet. I will let you know. You don't seem to care much for the ball. Orlesians pretend their petty squabbles are a game. Yes, let us treat murder, corruption and deceit as delightful amusements. How wonderful. We are here to save Empress Selene, and it galls me. Why does she merit our protection? The Empire would be better off without her. Gaspard is the leader Orlais needs in this crisis. You... why? You support the Civil War? Of course not. Chaos is what Corypheus wants, and we must oppose him. Were it up to me, however, I would let Selene fall and Gaspard take the throne. He would see the true threat, not spend his time throwing balls and writing letters. No, he probably would, I mean. Stay alert. We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better. That's the thing about politics, though, is that everybody, when they're on their way up, they're like, these are all the things that I'm going to do, and I'm going to take, I'm going to look out for the little guy, and I'm going to get all these things done when I'm at office. And then when they actually get in there, they're all like, I'm going to do nothing. Well, well. What have we here? The leader of the new Inquisition, fabled herald of the faith. Delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? So... It's a mystery. Yeah. I think she would like that. Yeah. We may never know. Courtly intrigues and all that. Such intrigues obscure much. But not all. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters Girl, of the I know. arcane. Oh, I knew you. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I hope so. I could use another ally here. A sentiment I share. Considering recent events. Recent events? Recently I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent of Tevinta. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinta's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side Whoa. long enough to search. You, you can. You left Selene alone. Is that wise? I must return to her anon, but she is safe enough for the moment. It would be a great fool who strikes at her in public in front of all her court and the Imperial Guard. What's your interest in protecting Empress Selene? Are you her bodyguard? <laughs> Do I seem a bodyguard to you? If anything were to happen to Selene, eyes would turn first to her occult advisor even if they knew otherwise. There are sharks in the water, and I will not fall prey to them. Not now, not ever. Why did you kill the agent? He might have had useful information. I would not have slain the man on sight had he not attacked me first. Why? Undoubtedly, I caught him in an illicit act. I did not know from whence he came until after the battle, and regret only that I could not capture him alive. What intentions the Imperium has here, I suspect you know far better than I. Come with me! Yeah. If you truly want answers, help me find them. I already told you. I must return to protect the Empress. Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound. And not all of them aligned with Tevinta. What comes next will be most exciting. Oh, Morrigan. I'm so glad this game is not a huge disappointment. I know. I was so worried that this game was gonna, like, really suck. But it doesn't suck! 
Which is such a... Not only does it not suck... It's pretty it's, great. It's pretty enjoyable. Yeah. I was so worried. By the way, Morrigan has the best dress out of all these other... <laughs> okay. Do we? Wait, She oh. does, though. Duchess of Valmontaigne, Chevalier of the Empire, Hero of the Battle of White River, Patroness of the painter Ambrose Poirier, and second cousin of Princess Electra of the House of Alberi... So we can speak later, Inquisitor. Okay. Guess my court approval is too low. Aww. <laughs> How do we get more opportunities to get our court approval up? Eh, they'll come along. I don't want to mess with it too much because I always mess it up. I, I suck at court intrigue. Right. This could be worth checking out. Ooh, examine corpse. I'd love to. Yes. Someone will be held accountable for this. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I hate that I have to re-equip everything. Alright. This was no servant. What was he doing here? This man was a council of Herald's emissary. Curious to find him here. Is that the Chalon family crest? What have you been up to, Gaspard? Time to have a word with the Duke. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Venatory agents! two seconds. Wonder why. <laughs> Could be because we're wearing like, we're really awesome at everything. That's totally it. That's totally why. I'm totally skilled at everything I do. And we're level 21 to their level 15. 22 actually gave the Q gosh. Q sorry. You're 22, but I think Dorian is level 21. Oh, okay. I didn't get the number out of nowhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> Decimated. <laughs> Everybody just hits the one and they're back dead. Dead people everywhere. That's how I like it. Oh, everybody. Abandoned section. I'm assuming th they said earlier that she was building this place, so uh, they're in the middle of like building this castle. Oh, whoopsie! Breaking boxes. Well, I know that this is the Winter Palace, so she got. Oh, in the face! Fancy meeting you here. Inquisitor Lavellan. Slamming in the servants' quarters with the rest of your people, for once. What? We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. What was that supposed to mean? Why would you say that to me? I don't know. That's a fancy title. Ambassador, is it? Whose ambassador are you, exactly? 
If the nobility is going to treat elves as if we are not citizens, we may as well have the trappings of a foreign power. Okay. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinta blood off the marble. <laughs> I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's Emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? Is Gaspard's? Or what if it was? No. What? We found him dead, didn't we? I found him dead. He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing to winter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. Warren Celine? Yeah. The Empress needs to know what's going on. You can try to warn her. She won't believe anything from me. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. I hear you, uh, hear you and uh, Celine. Maybe yeah, I want to ask little, about that. Like, maybe well, have a little thing going on. <laughs> Was wondering if you had any room for more elves in the picture. <laughs> Just asking And maybe for, a male human. Asking for a friend. For a friend. You know how to make a sales pitch, Ambassador. I'll give you that. I do, don't I? I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. Hey! She's like us! She just more politics and double dealing. She's is there anyone things. here who yeah. is not corrupt? There is so much conniving and backstabbing here. Makes me homesick. <laughs> <laughs> Dorian. What? Oh, those are just guys fixing stuff. Uh oh. Those are her people. She's like us. She just jumps off things. She's I like, knew it was an elvish like, thing. Oh, I'm out. Bounce. <laughs> this looks like as good of a way out as any. And then, like, Dorian's the lack talking to Vivienne, being like, I told you it is an elf thing. She's not weird. Yeah. And Vivienne's like, no, she's weird. No, she's weird. She's weird. She is weird. <laughs> hmm. Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? Sure. You heard stories of your accomplishments. <laughs> I want to know those stories. Ah, oh, the, the stories, stories I, I could tell. tell. I'd wager I have better tales than anything you've heard. I told you, Philippe. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. She talked to Cullen. If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Really? But I shouldn't leave my post. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. Perfect. Yeah, now we can see all this girl. Oh, I need to get back before I'm missed. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky! Sneaking into places! Uh. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I got a coin! Did I tell you that my my uncle has a trophy room like that in his house? 
It's just full of dead things. Stuffed animals. Inquisitor Lavellan. We met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. May I help you? Yeah. Is there something I can do for you, Your Grace? Indeed you can. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Two women dancing? Scandalous. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's dance. Yes. I'm seeing someone now. Yeah, what should we say? Let's dance. Are Very we not well. allowed to? Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. Are we not allowed to dance with her? Uh, no, we are. It was just a stupid thing to say. <laughs> Have the Dalish gained a sudden passion for politics? What do you know about our civil war? I assure you, the effects of this war reach far beyond the borders of the Orlesian Empire. Perhaps it does. I should not be surprised to find the Empire is the center of everyone's world. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Okay, what do you say? Uh, I can agree with that. I think I can agree with that, yes. Then you have lifted a terrible burden from my heart, Inquisitor. The world is filled with doubt see? and uncertainty. Fear rules more hearts than any empire. I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Which am I to which, you? Yeah, which am I to you? Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? Uh, I trust, trust no, no one. one. If I've learned anything, Your Grace, it is to put my trust in no one. Tiffany thing? Ha! Yeah, Alright, five! We got five! Ooh! In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I have noticed. Or... We have to be isn't slightly everyone? aloof. Yeah. I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in LA. Yeah, we gotta be sl slightly aloof. You have little time. <laughs> the attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspar before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? Last time I had that conversation, I was completely fucked the whole way through. Ugh. It was like, everybody hates everything you say, and get, you get out of here. Kicked out? You'll be the talk of the court for months. I was on the edge we of it. We should take you dancing more often. No dances. The dances for Corypheus? <laughs> I'd happily do more dancing, just not with Corypheus. I promise not to invite him to your next ball. Oh, thank you. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? Yes. More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. All right, we're gonna get okay, everybody. Like, come Calm on now. I have a lead. The Grand Duchess told me there's proof Gaspard is in league with Tevinter. She offered up her own brother? She's more cutthroat than I realized. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. Uh, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. I won't stand by and let her die. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. And killing to his is plan, not going to be the chaos? Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Thank you. Sometimes the best path is not the easiest one. 
Alright, you guys. You guys need to... You are asking me to decide what's best for Orlais. More than that, whoever controls the Imperial Throne will affect all of Thedas. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orlais to this point. I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor. Not ours. You save the Empress, you dicks. Yeah. What's wrong with all of you? We came here to save Selene. Then you must not only save her life, but also her empire. That means giving her a victory over both Gaspard and Briala. If there truly is proof Gaspard's in league with Corypheus, that would be a start. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the Royal Wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access, and in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. How much time do you think Josephine went into, like, designing those outfits for everybody? You know, it's too bad that we could- I mean, we don't have to kill Briala, right? We can just take her back to the- It would be cool if we could just take her back to Skyhold and, like, you know, Hang have out. her. <laughs> what? <laughs> and, you know, just keep her. Just keep her there. Forever. Forever. Where is that lazy Wait, what? <laughs> In the basement. I'm sure Solas could keep her occupied whenever we're not there. <laughs> Stacy just wants a sex harem. <laughs> he could just keep her in like a dream state or something. Inquit. Look at Lady Cambian's slippers. <laughs> Trimmed with pearls. And emeralds. And those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. Shoes, <laughs> that's your concern. There's a Devinter assassin on the loose and you're concerned about buckles on shoes. Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambian's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? Of course. It's, yes. You're different here than in Skyhold. More approachable, perhaps. This is Halam Sheral Inquisitor. This is the Imperial Court. This is the beating heart of the great game. Of course, everyone is wearing a mask. I learned this very young. I was still a girl when I attended my first ball. All this, the smiles, the small talk, it is a dance. And like any dance, it can be learned. For some of us, it has become so familiar that the steps may be performed in our sleep. Do you really think Briala should be given influence? Selene has been in power long enough to expect support. If we secure her throne, she will be grateful. But such gratitude will pale beside that of one we raise up from nothing. Who is lower than the elf? If we place Briala in power with Gaspard as her mask, her debt to us will be great indeed. And Gaspard will have the throne he has wanted. With conditions, of course. I suspect he will still find it gratifying. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. Have you seen anything interesting? Oh, yes. Halam Shiral is lousy with scandals and scheming. 
But no sign of our Tevinta infiltrator, I'm afraid. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. Court approval 67. Whoa! Holy shit! Wait, maybe she'll talk to us Lady now? Lady Inquisitor. Ah, ah, of course. Care to dance? Yes. Would you care to dance, Lady Mantillon? You, Inquisitor, are a delight. One does not often find foreigners so well versed in the game. Oh, thank you. you have dances to perform first. Perhaps you will save me a dance for later? I'd like your opinion of this gathering, milady. It's doomed to fail, of course. Sally knows that. Hmm. At least it should be amusing. We haven't had such a menagerie at court in living memory. Have you noticed anything odd this evening? Too few Imperial Guards stand in attendance, my dear. A shame. They are so pleasantly decorative. Good evening, milady. These people are like Lady so Inquisitor. So much. Have you noticed anything odd this evening? Too few Imperial Guards stand in attendance, my dear. A shame. They are so pleasantly decorative. Good evening, milady. Emperor Cordelia Drake on the first. Cordelia Drake on the first was the founder and first emperor of the Orlesian Empire. Dracon was a fervent believer in the Maker and often claimed that the God had personally charged him with the spread of the Chant of Light. He was instrumental in turning the cult of the Maker, which had no central leadership at the time, into the Chantry. Because of his actions, he was declared anointed by the Chantry and is revered as much as Andraste by many of its members. Dracon was also a brilliant general, leading the newly founded empire to rapid expansion. In the year 15 ancient, the young and ambitious king of the city-state of Orlais began, began construction of a great temple dedicated to the Maker, declaring that by its completion he would have brought Andrastian belief to the world. In 11, he began a series of attacks in the heartlands aimed at uniting the warring city-states of the south. The temple was completed in 3 ancient, and Draken was crowned emperor in Val Royal. Having conquered several neighboring city-states and forcing the submission of others, his first act as emperor was to declare the Chantry as the established religion of the empire. He created the Holy Office of the Divine, and after protected elections, Alessia of Montsimard was proclaimed the first divine three years later, taking the name Justina. The event marked the beginning of the Chantry calendar at 1-1-Divine.